2015 Yo kukosana ya Ruto na Uru, kuna maya anajua likosania nini? Mm. The same way atujui Ruto na Gashagu wa mekosania nini? Ruto na Uru wa mekosana 2015 Ruto wa mezunguka hiki ya nyayote hata Uru wa kanza kumuita tangatanga Time peace wake Ama mmesa hao Yo maneno ya Ruto kuzunguka <laughs> Sini the same na Gashagu Si Gashagu wa chanza kuongea Na si hako na mpiso hili watati Na si hata tangatanga as he had a in Guinea, at twenty twenty seven, love data at Aitisha who president. One difference Yagashago and Aruto began. Your man and Walikosania, Sisia to Jui. Your man and Oenyeruto and Auru Alikosana, Sisia to Jui. Labda Walikosania Tenda, Labda Walikosania Miradia Serikali, Labda Walikosania Dil Walikula, Yemulipua. I put him to Abba Alikua. Nada Wakiskizana Leo. You could have a ladder, Sisia to Saidi. Sini wao tu wanajipanga. Bwana na bibi wamekosana. Saa hii bibi amelala hapo kwa veranda. Bwana kidogo asikie baridi kwa kitanda, aite bibi arudi kwa nyumba. Nyimbo kwa hapo sio ndoa ni ya watu wawili. Hao wa jamaa wako na mambo yao. Hiyo mambo ituuzu. Na in fact, kwa bwana na bibi wakitaka tu waende. Sio lazima hata tukoe tumeolewa kama kenya. Sisi wametutumia sana. Kuiba hawaogopi. Kuua hawaogopi. Kututisha ni, ni kawaida kwao Kupitisha miswada na masheria za ujinga ni kitu wanafraia Sasa hawa jamaa na tusaidia hati Hawa jamaa hata mkiangalia tu hivi Tunafaa tufike 2027 na wao Haifai, sisi Kenya ni yatima Sasa kuna haja gani ukue na wazazi wawili Baba na mama na wote wa kusaidi Na wakona uwezo, kama wana uwezo na naelewa Hakini wakona uwezo Si pesa wako nayo na sini yetu Tumewapea polisi, sini wetu Wanajeshi si wako nao, sini wetu Nini ingine wako nayo, si wako na pawa Siyo pawa ni si tumewapea Wako na authority ya ofisi, yo ofisi ni sisi tuliwaeka Mizi kuwapigia kura, lakini si walipigiwa, si wako na ofisi Nini ni hawaezi tufanyia saa hii Sisi ni mayatima na tukona baba na mama Wana tusaidia aje, eri hata tuendo ya ofanet Kwanza si washa tupeleka offanet, kutupeleka kwa adani, siyo ni offanet. Washa tupeana, hata hawadutaki. Hawadutaki. Sasa kama hawadutaki, mbona si tuwataki. Apostawa jenzi. Kama hawadutaki, mbona si tunawabembeleza. Si tunawataka ya nini. Kuyo kashaku hakitaka haende. Hakitaka pia kai. Kuyo kuyo pia hakitaka haende, hakitaka pia kai. Hakini pia si tunapanga. Pia sisi tutapanga Si wawa mepanga kutupeleka kwa adani Hata sisi tunapanga Na sisi ndiyo wengi Kwa nini wangapi? Kwa bunge ni 290 Ongeza wenye wako nominated Ongeza hapto na magavana Na madeputi wao Na masenator Na women rep Kwa nini wangapi? Wanafika miyasaba Hata miyatano wafiki Sasa watu miyatano watatuangaisha hiki kenya yote Watu 54 million wanaangaishwa na watu miyatano ambao ni sisi tumuapigia kura Pesa ni yetu Hiyo pao wako nao ni yetu Lakini wanatutumia vile wanataka Mutakubali Si wametuzoea Haa jamaa wametuzoea sana ba Sisi tumuapea power Tumuapea kibali cha ofisi Tumuapea pesa yetu Na kwa hiyo yote wameshinu na kazi kidogo Si hata njini yokazi kunaweza Haa watu mkuafa Wee enda kwenu Omba watu vizuri kura Wakupe Hata wewe labda uneza kuwa fadhali kuliko wa jamaa mmeeka huko Mbunge wenu wakipita hapa Munaanza kumuinulia mikono Na kona nini special Ni mutu tu kama wewe Na kwanza ubaya ni muizi Akitokea hapa Akitokea hapa sakaja Kwanza hata hii bunge itasimama Watu wakimbia huko waone sakaja Na wana muona kila sifu Wako na nini ya maana Na tugari tuwili tutatu Hizo gari ni zetu Mafuta ya hizo gari ni zizi Hawezi soonga mbele Hawezi soonga nyuma bila sisi 
Sasa ya nini tuwaribu bunge tuende tukone sakaja amekuja hapa na atusaidi Nimepeleka proposal kwa sakaja Kwa hiyo ofisi hawataki Hawataki proposal za mayuthi Hawataki Wata kuzungusha wa kuzungusha wa kuzungusha Hiyo funding na wata kupea Na hiyo pesa ni yetu Na imagine mtu wakona pesa hako na anaringa nae <laughs> Sabu hawa jamaa wakona deni yetu Leo Unalala pesa kwa serikali Kesho wa subuhi zidani kama kutakuwa na kitu Wacha atumia Sawabu sisi tumawapea authority ya kutumia hiyo pesa Ni pesa yetu wakonao lakini wanaringa nae Sawabu sisi tunawadai Tunadai good services from the government Tunawadai pesa Na kwa hizo vitu zote mtu wanakuwaensha madharau na kiburi Jina weze kanaji Mbunge hapa Atakuwa aja hako na kiburi Na anatembea na pesa hako na gari hako Hawa jamaa ametuzoaya Iyo maneno mskubaji Na nizione mkikimbilia wa bunge Hawa jamaa tu ni kama wewe tu Kwa ridia Kile kitu wako different na wewe Ni mvisaji na muizi Iyo tu Iyo tu wakuna kitu ingine wako nao special Sasa hata sikuwa ni meanza Diyo naanza sasa Mimi na shangaa Kwanza wacha ningie kizungu kidogo I wonder Why The former president Uru Kenyatta Did not impeach William Ruto I wonder Because This Ruto we have today Was bad Is bad Will be bad It is written in eternity He will always be bad Hakuna kudanganyana hapa Kwa nani ya mjui? You are very new Nini wate muna mjua? Nini wate muna mjua? Na uru alikuwa na mjua Uru alikuwa na wabunge vizuri Haka kuja haka chukua Raila Waka zema oo tutengeneza serikali Raila usikuwe people's president Ama mmesa hau Hapa 2018 miguna akiapisha Raila Situlikuwa na president wa wili Simmezema kuna constitution or deputy president na political Sasa tulikuwa na people's president na the Republic of Kenya President Na si Kenya ilikuwe na songa Lakini hakuna maali tungeenda Sasa kama Raila alisema hii Kenya tugawe marambili Tungeenda wapi Ni kama North Kenya na South Kenya Hakuna maali tungeenda Uru wa muambia kuja ndugu yangu tuingia kwa sirikali Tupange hii maneno Tusikizane inji yendele Raila haka ingia kwa sirikali Uo wakati Uru at the MPs From Jubilee and from ODM And the good will of the opposition To impeach the deputy William Ruto Uru, wherever you are Tunataka utujibu Why did you not impeach Ruto? You would have saved us a lot of problems If Ruto was impeached in 2018 or 2019 Today He would not have become president Because he would not be qualified to be anyone's president Ama hiyo sheria impeachment si mnaidua Kwa nini hata wange jaribu tuwane enye mme jaribu Uyu Uru tunamsifu sana mimi sina vitu mingi against Uru, lakini najuliza, why did you not do us that favor? If you had impeached this guy, we would now not be suffering under his tenure. Would we be suffering? Probably we would have someone different. Raila, some people say was never an option. But he's better than Ruto. Zio yote tunakubaliana. Sabu wa jamaa zio muizi hivo. Kwa jamaa anaga roo mbaya hivo. Lakini mkona jamaa flani hapa, roo ni mbaya. Kiburi kwa kwa akili. Jamaa anapenda, anapenda power. Ni kama yo president iliandikuwa ni lazima atakuwa. Sasa huyo jamaa mnaona tukienda hapi na hivo. Mnaona tukienda hapi na hivo. Mnaona tukienda hapi. Joe alituambia huu jamani muizi Na bado mkampea kura Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Nyinyi mnapenda wezi? Kama Yesu wapendi wezi Bona nyinyi muwapende? Kama huyo muizi ya kuomba Yesu mzamaa pale kwa msalaba Ni kona time Na ni kona time Kama huyo muizi ya nge omba Yesu mzamaa kwa msalaba Si nge kuwa menda kwa shetani Sasa kuna muizi mwingina hapa mwenye hata msamaa ataki kuomba na nye mulimpea kura Si nye mnaona hapo tulikosea Hapo nao tulianguka vipaa sana Hakuna kusema ati oo ni muizi na ni wetu Hiyo maneno wapana Kwani akiiba anapeleka kwenu Si anapeleka kwao Uyo gashago wenye wanamtetea Si akiiba anapeleka kwao Aleti kwetu, aleti kwenu Na hiyo pesa hameiba itusaidi In fact, kama kuna watu useless Ni hawa politician tuko nao kenya Wanaiba pesa na wanapeleka inje Mutu haibe pesa hapa, apeleke Seychelles. Haibe pesa hapa, apeleke Germany. Haibe pesa hapa, enda anue nyumba Dubai. Simuliambiwa governor flani, hakona manyumba Dubai. 
si mnakumbuka hiyo story private bank hatutaki kusema si watanifuata lakini si mnajua sasa hawa jamaa wanaiba pesa hapa wanapeleka nje si hata heri wange invest hapa tulikuwa tunaulizana ile hoteli kubwa hivyo ni ya nani ah ni ya jamaa fulani mzuri at least ingekuwa imeajiri watu hapa ndani itakuwa imepea vijana ajira ingekuwa imeturudishia hiyo pesa hapa ndani hatunge kwa tumekaukiwa hivyo ama nyinyi mko sawa tumekaukiwa vizuri tumekaukiwa barabara sisi wote ni hoyae na hii Kenya si imekauka hivyo sasa imagine kumekauka hivyo na ni 2024 imagine 2026 kutakauka aje sababu sababu i am an economist and i will tell you the central bank of kenya and the and the, and the ministry of treasury and planning make sure that pesa yenye ita circulate 2026 na 2027 iko accounted for kusikuwa na excess money in supply kukikuwa na excess money in supply mambo inflation inakuja ikaje ndio sababu hiyo mwaka mwaka moja na nusu hapo tukielekea uchaguzi kuna kwa kumekauka sio mnajua wakitokea hapa 50200 watu wamepanga laini si mnajua kuna kwa kumekauka sasa imagine kumekauka hivi 2024 na mambo ya treasury bado wajaanza kubalance pesa na wakianza kukaza pale 2026 tutasurvive na hawa jamaa ndo mko nao na si ati hakuna pesa ni ati wanaiba tell me why we cannot print our own money Niambie ni aje we don't have the technology hatuna manpower hatuwezi access hizo materials za kuprint pesa why do we have to subcontract to private investors kuprint pesa yetu hapa Kenya why hatuwezi nunua hiyo material kwani ni shilingi ngapi hatuwezi pata hao wafanyikazi wako na hiyo know how hatuwezi pata hiyo technological capacity kama ni kama ni machines hatuwezi nunua delaru ndo alikuwa na print pesa zetu tenda yao ilisha ama mjui saa hii kuna anatafuta nani ataprint pesa na ujui itakuwa adani mwingine ya adani mwingine na hawa jamaa wako huko juu atakuwa na shares kwa hiyo mambo ya kuprint pesa wakienda kuchukua pesa mlango wa nyuma mtakuwa si mnajua jamaa fulani na huko 90s 80s alikuwa anajipea pesa kwani wakianza kujipea pesa mtajua hapana no. jamaa fulani huko juu a few people around 1000 Kenyans wako na pesa kutuliko sisi wote na itusaidii sababu haiko hapa iko huko nje mbona wasirudishe hiyo pesa hapa lakini hawezi rudisha sababu ni ya wizi wote ni wezi semeni wezi wezi wote ni wezi ndio sababu hiyo pesa hawezi invest hapa tutauliza hii building ni ya nani tuambiwe ni ya deputy governor wote hiyo deputy governor alipo mshahara pesa ngapi deputy governor ulipo pesa ngapi si mnajua Piga hiyo hesabu. Ako na biashara ngapi? Piga hiyo hesabu. Haiwezi kuwa imejenga hii building. Ana loan, ametoa hapi pesa kujenga hiyo building? Sasa lazima tuanze kufunguka macho tuulizane hii maneno. Uru did not do us a favor. And if he really loved this country, he should have impeached Ruto. Because if he did, we would not have this guy as president. Na wa Kenya mliopigia Ruto kura. Mahali huko, jijune, useme never again. Usipigie muizi tena. Usipigie muaji tena. Usipigie jamaa wa kuangaisha watu tena. Usipigie mtu ana roho tena. Haitawezekana sisi Gen Z tumekufa hapa kwa street. Mtu anatokea ku address wa Kenya, ana Twitter sisi treason as criminals. Sisi tunakaa criminals. Sisi tunakaa goons. Mheshimiwa, it is a wrap up. Eh, nipende kambili. Nipende kambili. Sisi tunakaa wez. Tunakaa goons. Tunakaa criminals. Itakuwaje mtu atatoka huko na hasira zake akuja atwite sisi criminals? Itawezekana aje. Hiyo <coughs> maneno sisi tumekataa. Na huyu jamaa mimi nilimkataa hata before akuwe president. I took my time to decampaign William Ruto. Hawakunisikiza. Yes, yes. Si wali, walikataa kutusikiza. Yes, yes. Wenye mko hapa wenye mlikataa Ruto. Yes, yes. Simnajua hiyo uchungu. Yes, yes. Na hawa jamaa wakasema wewe wacha nani na huyu jamaa kwa sawa mpeni. Oo ni wa Mungu. Sio kanisa imemkataa. <laughs> juzi, ni juzi ama ni jana. Ni evangelist Teresia Maina. Yeah. Uh, wa uh, close friend to the first family si amekataa hii serikali waziwazi wazi. yeah. kama yeye ndio mtu amekaa na wao wamekula pamoja aliwaombea akawekelea mikono na amesema hii hi maneno tumekataa na kanisa imekataa sisi mbona tukubali sisi mbona tukubali hao mapasta walienda huko Karen walikuwa wanapewa pesa si mlikuwa mnawaona hizo yeah. mapicha wakishikilia ma envelope si mliziona hao yeah. jamaa walituuza hata hii kanisa iko na ufisadi utaenda aje kupewa pesa useme president ako sawa useme chagueni huyu jamaa na unajua vizuri hakuna mungu
Mungu amekuongelesha ni mvuko imekuongelesha <laughs> Iweje mtupoteze hiyo hata hii kanisa tunafaa tuichunguze msifuate kila kitu pasta anawaambia kila kitu pasta anawaambia msifuate wengine wana wana roho za Mungu wengine ni roho za pesa roho taka, taka kitu si roho takatifu roho taka kitu zimejaa hii Kenya Mkenya wa kawaida apende ufisadi na bado pasta na bishop apende ufisadi itaweza hiyo maneno iwezi nikimalizia nikimalizia najua nimeongea sana lakini najua nimeguza kila mahali najua nimeguza kila mahali mimi nauliza hivi kitu wa kwanza IBC haiko hao wenye wanasema kindiki alikuwa cleared kukuwa deputy president alikuwa cleared na nani juzi watu hapa thika wameenda kutaka kurecall mp wao wakaambiwa hakuna IBC that is the official response they got from the commission sasa hiyo IBC imesema Kindiki is cleared to become deputy president iko wapi? In fact, wangekuwa wametupea hiyo IBC, sisi tungekuwa tumerudisha hawa MP nyumbani ama namna gani? Hawatusaidi. Si hawa MP walienda wakapigia hiyo finance bill kura wakasema yes. Kwa kiburi wakasema yes. Kama atungeenda kwa street sisi kama Gen Z, hiyo ingekuwa sheria ama ingekuwa sheria? Singekuwa sheria leo. Hizo tax zote zilikuwa kwa finance bill. Si tungekuwa tunalipa hawa jamani mchezo tupu hiyo IBC yenye wanasema imeclear kidiki watu wonyeshe na pia watu wambie state officer yeyote akitaka kukuwa politician sababu cabinet secretary sio politician lazima akuwa amekaa miezi sita ayuko kwa ofisi kindiki amekaa miezi ngapi ayuko kwa ofisi kindiki hata kumaliza siku gashagua si amempichua saa tano ya usiku asubuhi saa mbili washaya ka kindiki amekaa miezi sita gani kama Ruto anataka deputy president mwenye alikuwa state officer ayuko kwa kazi. Si achukue ni Kimani Gunjiri ama nani huyo. Achukue mtu aliamka kura. Atavute mtu kama Kate Waruguru amfanye deputy president huyo hajakuwa kwa ugomboni. Si mnajua hakupewa kura. Atavute mtu achukue hata Matiangi, achukue hata Machogu. Si kutuchukulia mtu wa kwa serikali saa hii kesho hadi leo ni CS kesho ameamka deputy president. Na hata hiyo maneno ya deputy president na president yote hatutaki. Wote wanafaa waende nyumbani. Haya, ngoja. Ngoja. Sisi kama Gen Z, mimi kama James Mulamba nasema hivi. Jambo ya kwanza. Tunafaa kuwa na msuada wa kuimpeach Ruto. Kama wataongea na watachukua hiyo muda wote kuimpeach Gashagua. Mbona tusichukue hiyo muda yote tuimpeach Ruto? Si tuko na time. Tuko nayo. Tuko na time. Nikiwa kwa streets June tarehe 26. June tarehe 25. June tarehe 25. <coughs> Niliongea mbele ya media na nikauliza kwa nini hakuna mswada wa kuimpeach Ruto? Hiyo ilikuwa hata wakati before ODM ingia kwa serikali. June 25th na the months before that ODM haikuwa kwa serikali. ODM mbona haikukuwa na motivation ya kuimpeach Ruto? Huyu babu Owino anasema anatupenda. Mbona angupeleka mswada wa kuimpeach Ruto? Huyu atiende Amolo. Huyu huyu Opio Wandai. Nao maempis wote wa ODM na hao wengine wenye wanajifanya wanapenda wananchi walikuwa wapi? Bora wange tuimpitia huyu Ruto hata tuone walijaribu there is no good will from all of these people water ni the same same ni the same water ni the same bora wange impeach huyo Ruto sasa saa hii tuko na time yote ya ku discuss impeachment ya Gashagua lakini hatuna time ya ku discuss impeachment ya mkubwa wake si shida inaanza huko juu Shida iwezi anza hapa katikati. Shida inaanza huko juu. Wacha nikuambie, leo hii kama we ni president na uko strict na useme hakuna mtu ataiba kwa hii nchi, hakuna mtu ataiba. Hakuna mtu ataiba. Wewe kama principal secretary utaiba na mkubwa wako amesema usiibe. Si unajua atakushika? Si atakupeleka ndani? Si ako na hiyo evidence. Ukiona hawa jamaa wakiiba, ni kumaanisha hata huko juu kuko hivyo. Ruhusa imetoka huko juu, we chota na we uchote ni kuniletea yangu kama angekuwa amesema hakuna wizi na mnaona vizuri hata yeye aibi wewe unatoa hapi audacity ya kuiba wezi iba kama mkubwa wako aibi ukiona unaiba hata mkubwa wako ni mwizi haya ya kumalizia referendum tunafaa tukue nayo ekuru au kota ileta referendum yapunguza mizigo si mnajua ilianguka na ilianguka sababu uhuru na raila walikuwa wanataka kupitisha bbi si mnakumbuka bbi bbi ni sawa BBI ilikuwa sawa 
lakini ilikuwa na vipengele vingine wa Kenya hawakubaliana nazo mambo ya prime minister wa Kenya walikataa na hiyo mambo mengine hapo zisho simnakumbuka hiyo wa Kenya walikataa lakini kuna mambo mengine hapo ndani kwa BBI haikuwa mbaya sana na reason ya punguza mizigo kuanguka from my own analysis ni ati hawa jamaa walikuwa andaa wapitishe BBI waliona hii referendum yao ya BBI wanapanga haitapita kama punguza mizigo itapita two referendums cannot go in time haziwezi pita zote mbili at the same time sasa wakaamua waangushe ya ukot wapitishe yao na mpunguza mizigo ilikuwa sawa si mnakumbuka ukot mambo walikuwa wamesema tupunguze deni punda amechoka hiyo walikataa ndio watuletee BBI na walikuwa wanajua ukot ako sawa walijua ana makosa yote sisi kama Gen Z tunafaa tuunganishe Kenya yote Tuseme hii Kenya iende referendum. Tuangalie mambo ya, ya term limits. Mtu kama mbunge mwizi afai kukaa miaka tano ya kuvaa nini? Tupunguze hii kitu hata ikuje miaka tatu Kama ni kuangaika zituangaike time kidogo. Mbona mbona tuangaike miaka tano tunaweza angaika miaka tatu Situangaike tu tatu ishe. Kwa nini wachukue 5 years kutuangaisha? Si watuchukue tu tatu tuchupe mwingine. Kama mbunge wa hapa starehe anawaangaisha malizane na yeye miaka 3 aende mkono paka bwana mshe mkono paka eh so referendum tunafaa tukue nayo tuangalie mambo ya limits mtu azikae miaka 5 kutuharibia wakati na kufanyia maisha ikuwe ngumu tuangalie mambo ya corruption hizi sheria za corruption ziko very lax ah watu wanaona mi hata nikiiba hakuna kitu kubwa tunafanyiwa si wametoa kesi ya waluke mbona tuzipige risasi mtu mwizi <coughs> yes ameiba pesa hospitali hospitali watu wanakufa sababu hakuna madawa mbona huyo tusinyonge Bona utusipige risasi. Hiyo sheria ya corruption tunafaa tuangalie. Hiyo maneno yanafaa kuwa kwa referendum. Kitu kingine tunafaa tuangalie ni mambo ya appointing powers. President wa hii country, wa hii constitution amepewa too much power. Ati leo hii amwezi impeach Ruto sababu yeye ndio anawafaa appoint chairman wa IBC, chairperson wa IBC. Na kwamba leo mwezi mu impeach Ruto sababu yeye haja appoint our IBC commissioners kwa nini? Kuna haja gani mtu mmoja atuweke sisi wote mateka? Kuna haja gani? Hizi appointive powers za president tunafaa tuangalie. Hii country ifai kusimama sababu hatuna IBC. Na hatuna IBC sababu president hataki kuform. He knows this IBC will work against him. Anajua? Anajua mtatuma MPs wake nyumbani. Anajua hata yeye mnaweza mtuma nyumbani. Kwa nini sasa hakuwe na so much power? I mean, hakuwe na all the other power. Lakini hapa kwa appointing, hapa lazima tuangalie. Hata Erio cha person wa IBC angekuwa na appointiwa na judicial. Ama angekuwa na appointiwa na legislature. Lakini hapo kwa legislature hapa, hao <coughs> MP wote ni bure. Angekuwa huyo cha person wa IBC ana appointiwa na judiciary. Leo hii tungekuwa na IBC <coughs> na tunge recall hao MP. Acha nimalizie hapo. Thank you so much. What's up, what's up? What's up? Safara at the Midi TV. Chimbe. Chimbe tete. The best ahead of the rest.